All right, let's write that electric field slightly differently. Put another way, we could factor out the common terms. So what we could do is just leave out e naught x e to the j phi x i hat, and then what was left would be e to the k z e to the j k z minus omega t. And then the other term would be e naught y e to the j phi y uh, uh, j hat. Okay. And both of those would be about times e to the j kz minus omega t. So we're really just factoring out the common term. This thing that we're left with is called the complex amplitude. It contains all polarization information. Okay? And you can see sort of mathematically why we're doing what we're doing here. We know this thing is a wave. We know it oscillates at kz minus omega t. We, all, we know that both components go on z. We know that they both oscillate at the same frequency. That's how we set it up. All the interesting information is in here. How big does it oscillate on x? How big does it oscillate on y? And what is their relative phase? And this is also another example of how useful uh, complex notation is. If you were just using sinusoids, your phases would be stuck inside of sinusoids. And you'd have to do hundreds and hundreds of identities about sine and cosine to get it out. Well, here, it just divides out. Right? So this thing that was in there, we just pull out to the front. So your phase acts as a complex um, constant, or a complex, what do I want to say? Um, yeah, a constant. So just mathematically, it's easy to work with. Just pull the phase out, and then everything you need is in that, OK? So now, we have a formulism called the Jones calculus. So let's write the complex um, amplitude that contains all the information as a Jones vector. Because you can see it is a vector. It's got a component on the x uh, direction, and it's got a component uh, on the y direction. So the way you usually write it is like this, is you put the uh, horizontal component on top. In this case, horizontal usually would be x. So we have e naught x e to the um, j phi x, and then you put the vertical component on the bottom. So e naught y e to the j phi y. So this is a very um, uh, sort of simple way to describe the electromagnetic field. And it's a simple way to keep up with the polarization. It throws out the parts you don't need. It keeps some parts in a nice simple form. So we're going to see how we can use this. And this is due to uh, R. C. J Robert C. Jones, I believe, who is actually contemporary. So usually all the big names we hear about in optics class are from centuries ago. He was sort of active in the 50s. And he actually was with us until 2004. So when I started teaching this class about Jones vectors, Jones was still alive. Right? So this, this notation is, is kind of new. And it's very useful for keeping up with polarization.